Hey, this is Mark Steele with The Practical Steel. We're going to open another bottle. This was a good one. This new. This is the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. So this is starts off life as the Elijah Craig Small Batch. Um, not age dated, but should be in the 8 to 12 year range, according to Heaven Hill's website. Uh, and then after that, they go into a secondary maturation in a toasted barrel. So a uh, charred barrel is super high heat for a very short amount of time, charring the wood, typically less than a minute. A uh, toasted barrel is a lower heat for a longer period of time uh, that toasts the barrel instead of chars it. And in this case, they also, at the end of that toasting process, flash char it. So that flash charring still means it's a charred oak container. That's how it keeps that uh, straight Kentucky straight bourbon designation. Uh, but the toasted barrel is supposed to bring out more of the sweetness uh, more of the tannins in the wood, the vanilla flavors, um, and it, it's kind of popular. There's not a lot of them, but uh, Michter's is one that does a toasted barrel finish. Uh, the Old Forester 1910, similar. There's a wood for reserve toasted finish. But, so this is going to be uh, interesting. So 94 proof, um, and you know the rest of the specs are about the same as a small batch. So I'm a fan of Heaven Hill whiskey. Uh, let's give it a try. So we'll get this one open. Oh, and, and before we do this, um, you know, the small batch, Elijah Craig, sub $30, 28 30 bucks, somewhere around there. This nearly twice. So is that toasting uh, finish, and, and it shouldn't really be any more age. I mean, it did, I couldn't figure out how long it stays in the toasted barrel, uh, but given that the general age range is 8 to 12 years, it's probably still in that same range. So is it worth nearly double the price? Gosh, it's, um, it's, it's definitely different than the regular Elijah Craig small batch. There's almost a leather note on the top of it there. Yeah, it's a confectionery kind of leathery. It doesn't go together, but it's it, it's it's sugary or or marshmallowy or I don't know. It smells delicious. You see the color, typical color. It's not too dark. It's a coppery. It's pretty. Gosh, that smells wonderful. I mean, it's only 94 proof, but that could be dangerously easy to drink. It is definitely, uh, to my taste, sweeter than the regular small bag. And it is, it's, I mean, I keep saying confectionery, but it's a powdered sugar or a marshmallow or, hmm. And all the vanillas, yeah, I mean, super vanilla. Hmm, that is tasty. All right, well, this is, this is good. So I'm excited. I wish it wasn't $50 a bottle, uh, but it is. And uh, I chose to buy it, so, you know, my decision. Um, I don't know if it's worth nearly double a regular Elijah Craig small batch. Uh, but we'll live with it for a while. We'll go back to the bottle, see if it changes over time. Right off the bat, I'm not I'm not sad at all. I bought this. The legs on that, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but the legs are just super thick. That's beautiful. Mm. Yeah, it's definitely different. I tell you, it strikes me similarly to... To, to the first time I had the 1910, the Old Forester 1910. It's a, I mean, it's chocolatey. And I guess that's the toasting in the barrel bringing that out. But it is, it's chocolatey. It's still got spice back there too. As it, as it sits in the finish, it's, I mean, it's definitely spicy too. So baking spice, oh, that's, that's delicious. If you get a chance to try that at 50, I certainly would try it. Uh, like I said, we'll live it, live with it for a while. We'll go back to the bottle in a month or two when it's when it's been enjoyed for a while. I'll tell you what we think. In the meantime, tell us what you think. If you've had the Elijah Craig Toasted Barrel, uh, leave us a note in the comments. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell us if we're doing these things right. Uh, we sure, sure appreciate you watching them. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Cheers.